In Amarillo, heard arguments Wednesday in a lawsuit that aims to ban an abortion medication widely used by women in the U.S. for more than two decades. Lawyers for a coalition of anti-abortion groups called the Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine filed the suit to overturn the FDA's approval of the pills used to terminate pregnancies. They requested a preliminary injunction that would pull the pills off shelves nationwide while the case proceeds. The judge said he will issue his ruling as soon as possible on that specific request. And as the battle over budget heats up in our nation's capital, local representative Jody Arrington, who chairs the House, Commi the House Budget Committee, issued a statement this week saying in part, quote, for two years, President Biden went on a massive nonstop tax and spending spree. His new budget contains the highest sustained levels of taxes, spending, and deficits in American history. His policies have resulted in 40-year record inflation, soaring interest rates, and the prospect of a sustained economic recession. Mortgage rates, however, did drop this week in the wake of several bank failures. The Fed meets next week to reevaluate those rates again. Governor Greg Abbott announced three new members of the Texas Tech University System Board of Regents this week. Clay Cash is president of Cash Family Investments in Lubbock. Tim Culp is president of Southwest Royalties Incorporated in Midland. And Shelly Sweat is president and CEO of the Pretty Foundation in Wichita Falls. All three appointees must be approved by the Texas Senate. They will serve for six years once they get that approval. Their first board meeting will be in May.